Hey guys, Matt from Catchco. This month we put together a dock fishing kit. Perfect time of year, mid to late summer. A lot of those fish, especially in the middle of the day, start to move back underneath those docks in the shade to escape the sun. I want to show you a little bit about how to fish the baits featured in the box this month. And we're approaching a perfect looking dock right here. So I'm going to start out with the River to Sea Bubble Popper. What's really interesting and different about this River to Sea Bubble Pop is that inside this concave mouth on the sides, there's actually a couple gaps so that when you twitch it, it creates a bubble trail. And it creates just a little bit different action and different uh, surface disturbance than normal poppers. You can see that right there. The first thing I'm going to do is cast out in front of the dock to see if there's any active fish feeding. Because a lot of times what happens is people will put brush off the front of their docks, especially if they're anglers. So they'll put brush out there just to uh, attract crappie, bass, bluegill, stuff for the grandkids to catch. This bubble popper actually has really good walking action for a popper, more so than any other popper I've ever fished. Then after making a couple casts to the front of the dock, I'm going to start just pitching this, this bait as close as I can to the pylons and back into the shade. So here you have a boat lift. I'm just going to throw it back there in the shade. Pop. I'm fishing this River to Sea Bubble Popper on a medium action rod, 30 pound braid. You can also use monofilament, but I like to use the braid because it gives me a little bit better castability and more sensitivity, better hookups. This is a relatively shallow dock. I think it's about, we're in about six feet of water here. But this is a shallow lake also. So six feet is pretty deep, relative. Just pitching this popper right underneath the dock bat there. It's in the shade now. A lot of times in the summer, bluegill will suspend up underneath the dock. And this popper does a really good job of mimicking those bluegill. Alright guys, just fished the bubble popper. Had one blow up, but I'm going to look for some other active fish underneath that dock as well. So I'm going to throw a Buckeye Lures Mini Mop Jig with a Zoom z Prod Junior as a trailer. It's a nice slim profile bait. Cool thing about this jig, it's got a nice flat head so it's easy to skip underneath the dock. I'm also going to just pitch around the edges. And uh, the Zoom z Prod has a nice flat bottom to make it easier to skip as well. This, uh, the Buckeye Lures Mini Mop Jig is perfect. It has that nice living rubber skirt which is really active when it's sitting on the bottom uh, and you don't even have to move your rod tip. So we're going to approach this dock by flipping around the edges first. Nice quiet entry. Make sure to watch your line as the, as the uh, bait drops. Just to lift your rod tip up once or twice. We're fishing this on 17 pound fluorocarbon and a medium heavy rod. I like the medium heavy rod because it makes it a little bit easier to skip. This mini mop jig also has rattles in it. It does a really good job of mimicking a crawfish. You want to try to get it back there as far as you can into the shade. Because that's where those, those bass are hanging out in this hot summer sun. Now that I've thrown a couple other baits, I'm going to follow it up with the finesse presentation. This Biospawn Exostick Pro uh, has got a perfect salt ratio so that it falls nice and slow. I've got this on a Skinny Bear Wacky Rig slash Drop Shot Hook, one aught. Just rigged up uh, weedless. 15 pound braid for my main line and 8 pound fluorocarbon for the leader. And the nice thing about this is it's really easy to skip, so I'm going to approach this dock here and just start casting around and skip it underneath into the shade. Make sure to watch your line as it falls. This Edso stick is, ooh, there's a fish. I think there's some bluegill bat there biting it, but let's see if there are any bass as well. There's one.
Quick release. See, just there, I didn't feel a bite, but I saw my line twitch. Could have been a blue gel, so I'm gonna try to follow it back up. I'm gonna let that sink on a slack line, watching my line to make sure nothing bites. Just pop it a few times. Reel it in, throw it to another part of the dock. There's one. Not a monster, but a decent one. Ooh, there we go. Quick release again. There are lots of fish back in the shade. That wasn't even under a dock, that was actually under this willow tree. But it's a good sign that there are fish here. There's another one. They're loaded up underneath this tree. All right. Right in the top of the mouth, hooked perfectly. There we go, little guy. I guess. So that came on this Exo Stick Pro sprayed grass color and the skinny bear hook. All right, guys, we just finished fishing these two docks. Uh, we started out with the River to Sea bubble popper and had some nice blow ups there. Uh, then I moved on and started fishing the Buckeye Lures mini mop jig with the Zoom Z Pro Junior trailer and finished off with the finesse presentation with the Biospawn Etso Stick Pro and a Skinny Bear Drop Shot slash Wacky Hook One Knot. Um, it's good fishing. The sun is really high, so those fish really seem to be keyed in under docks, and we're going to keep fishing down this stock line.